discussing voltage regulators. The quality of electric service is one of the most important factors facing an electric utility today. Quality power has become more important than the cost of electricity in some of the location of your businesses and homes. The measurement of quality service includes the continuity of service and the stability of the voltage at the customer's meter. Heavy air conditioning, motherboards, and the trend to all electric living can cause unacceptable fluctuations in the electric system. Since all electric equipment is designed to operate with the elements, poor voltage conditions can result in multiple problems, such as disturbing television reception and flickering lights. Standards have been developed which require that the voltage at the customer's meter must be maintained within a range that will safely permit the customer's equipment to operate properly. Step voltage regulators are used to adjust the primary voltage in order to keep the customer's service at the voltage desired. Demands for dependable, consistent voltage have renewed the interest in regulators and their implications. The single phase feeder step voltage regulator is essentially a transformer having the low voltage secondary winding connected in series with the line and arranged so that the number of turns can be varied. The voltage is changed by changing the number of turns in the secondary winding by means of a rotary tape changing switch. This voltage is at zero potential loss when the regulator is at neutral. Normal maintenance and inspection schedules require that a regulator be removed from service at periodic intervals. This operation must be accomplished in a specific order to maintain continuity of service to the consumer and to prevent damage to the equipment and death or serious injury to the operator. The equipment covered in this training video should be operated and removed from service only by competent technicians familiar with standard safety practices. As noted, the series winding of the voltage regulator is in series with the line or feeder. When removing the voltage regulator from service, it is necessary to short across this winding. If the voltage across the winding is not at zero volt potential when this shorting occurs, a high circulating current will result. This circulating current can be several times the main height rating depending on the voltage in the series winding. Drag hand indicator and neutral light method of determining neutral. In order to ensure the safety of the operator, most regulators have been fitted with both a dial or drag hand indicator and a neutral position indicator lamp. It is wise to employ more than one method to determine if the regulator is in neutral. If the regulator is in the neutral position, it can be safely removed from service without interrupting line continuity. To accomplish this operation, move the regulator control switch from auto to manual. Then raise or lower the tap changer to neutral by operating the function control. Continue this operation until neutral is indicated by the drag hand dial indicator. When on neutral, the neutral lamp will light and the position of the drag hand dial indicator will point to zero. To stop the regulator in the neutral position, the control switch should be turned to off. Turning it to off will prevent overshoot of the neutral position. Audible count method of determining neutral. When looking to solve the four step regulators where no dial indicator is present, use the following procedure to bring the regulator to the verified neutral position. Using the control switch, run the tap changer to full raise or lower. An audible sound will be heard with each operation of the tap changer. Then run the tap changer to the opposite end of its range, counting the operations. Exactly four operations should be heard. Reverse the tap changer and count exactly two operations. The neutral lamp should be on and the regulator is verified in the neutral position. The process of bypassing the regulator can begin. 
One thing has been established that the regulator is neutral. Proceed with the following steps in the order that they are noted. Turn the control switch to on. Turn the control power on. The regulator now may be safely bypassed and removed from service. Removing the regulator from service. Bypass the regulator by closing the bypass switch. Remove the regulator from service by first opening the source side disconnect switch. Then, open the load side disconnect switch. Combination regulator bypass switches have been developed in order to simplify the bypass operation, allowing the bypass removal operation to be accomplished in a single operation. Caution. If the light fails to indicate that the regulator is in the neutral position, first check to ensure the lamp is functioning correctly. If the lamp is functional but still does not indicate neutral position, the source voltage will need to be de-energized in order to remove the regulator from service. We repeat, unless your company has specific instructions for this situation, do not operate the bypass switch unless both the dial and the lamp indicate neutral or the source voltage has been de-energized. Once the source has been de-energized, close the bypass switch. Open the source side disconnect switch. Open the load side disconnect switch and restore power to the circuit. Voltage regulators are an essential part of delivering quality, uninterrupted service to electric consumers. The improper operation of this equipment can cause serious injury or death. Following the proper work procedures implied in this course will allow you to work in a safe and effective manner while continuing to provide the quality 